Unfortunately, I probably won't have to answer that question because the moment that you're out of cards completely, pow, you lose. Yeah, my cards are low, but I'll have your life points at zero before my deck hits that mark. Hey guys, we're playing Salamangrate, and I wanted to just get out a regular Yu-Gi-Oh video. You know, do some explanation while I'm playing. Salamangrate is actually a ton of fun. Uh, I usually don't like playing super competitive Yu-Gi-Oh. I prefer the more silly strat janky kind of feel, but Salads and Noble Knights have actually kind of reignited my joy for actual Yu-Gi-Oh, like how you're supposed to play it. So let's just jump in and see how some of these games go. All right, Salamangrate on the play. And that is a terrible, terrible start. Wow, okay. Well, let's see what you got, opponent. Ice Barrier. I haven't played against Ice Barrier in a long time. Okay, so they have Torrential, which I'm pretty sure I forgot about. Okay. Coral and Enemy. And Nibiru. All right. Stops their turn, cool, cool. Draw not a Salamangrate card, <laughs> unfortunately. There's a lot of redundancy in this deck and I still haven't drawn a Salamangrate card. They don't have anything, okay. So we know they're playing Horus as well. I don't know, what do you guys think of the, the Horus support? I kind of wish it was more geared toward the, the level monsters and the dragons. That kind of seems like it'd be more fun to me, but whatever. Effect Failure. That is the starter for Ice Barriers. It's like the only good Ice Barrier card. Arianpos. Well, let's stop that too. That's fine. It's funny, they actually can't do anything <laughs> because we have a 3,000 attack monster on field. So let's just go ahead and get rid of that guy. And past turn, set another copy of Droplet. That is a Salamangra card, but uh, not a starter. <laughs> There's a lot of one card starters in this deck too. Okay, well I guess we'll just uh, slowly, slowly get rid of their cards here. And beat down. And they don't have anything still, so we're kind of at this weird stalemate. And Gazelle, that's a starter. <laughs> cool, let's go for the kill this game. And I, of course, forgot about Torrential Tribute. Uh, doesn't actually matter, though. So we can discard for Foxy, activate Spinny. I actually chose not to destroy things because they have secondary effects when I activate stuff. So summon our Salamangrate of Fire, add a Weasel, go Bail Links, and we should definitely be able to get the kill this turn. Proxy Fusion Magician into Salamangrate Violet Chimera. I love this card. I actually thought about doing a silly strat. So when Violet Chimera attacks something that attack is different than their normal attack, it doubles its own. So it's a it's like a one card OTK if you can arrange the situation. In this case, the Horus monster has zero attack and then increases its own. So it was kind of convenient that that worked out, but Sweet, sweet. We got there after a bit of a slog. Salads on the play. And yet another kind of weird start here. Uh, we go Weasel, Bailinx, add Sanctuary, and then probably just resummon Bailinx. Yeah. Yeah, and then set Roar. And pass turn. I don't know. Why did I do that? Oh, I was probably just, you know, searching for some kind of extra way to keep playing. But, okay. We're up against Cubix. Cool, cool. They have Crimson Nova, the Dark Cubic Lord. And Ghost Ogre is so good against continuous spells because it's basically a negate and destroy from the hand. And they have Soul Levy. Okay, let's pause that there. Um, Soul Levy. Each time your opponent special summons a monster, send the top three cards of your opponent's deck to the graveyard. We are playing Yu-Gi-Oh! in 2024, so we summon pretty much all the time. Um, this is actually gonna drain our deck quite quickly. So, Will of the Salamangrate, summon back the Bailinx. And they conveniently milled a uh, copy of Gazelle for us, which is really nice. Um, 
doesn't actually matter as far as Crimson Nova because we have our Forbidden Droplet and it can't attack again because it's negated. So we are going down on life points here. Normally they would actually kill us there because at the end of the turn, Crimson Nova deals both players 3000 damage. So that droplet is really coming in clutch. Draw Gazelle, which is huge, but we can special summon the one from Grave. Bury a copy of Spinny, which summons another Gazelle. And they're just gonna mill our entire deck out. But I think we can still win, which is the crazy part. So summon fire, search whatever is left in our deck there. We actually haven't normal summoned yet. So Foxy, gonna grab Jack Jaguar, which is really better in our graveyard than it is in our hand. And we can bounce the Crimson Nova with the Mirage Stallio effect. Add back an Ash Blossom, which is kind of cool because it's fire type. And our deck is one card left in it and nothing left. Okay, well, let's see if we can actually win the game here. Um, oh, right. We couldn't bounce the Crimson Nova because it's actually immune to other monsters' effects if they have attack less than 3,000. So that was my fault for not reading. But we have no cards left in our deck. Everything is in our graveyard. Let's see if we can win the game. Attack. Banish our Salamaker to fire, destroy Raging Phoenix, summon Raging Phoenix, and then just enough. <laughs> just enough to actually win the game. Oh, that's pretty sweet. No cards left in our deck. Feeling like you say. <laughs> no cards left in our deck. Winning anyway. Let's go. Got to go first again. And at least we have sign up mining here, so we can search for a starter. So they have Ash. Never mind. <laughs> Man, these games are unlucky. Okay. All right, so they go Foolish Burial Goods, and they we're up against Tear Laments. Okay. Uh, I'm not really sure what to, what to negate here, so I'm just gonna get the first thing. And they do Fuse up to Kick Close, a perfectly fair card. We have Ghost Ogre to destroy the Continuous Spell. I don't think they can actually kill us here. Which is pretty good. Of course, maybe if they played differently they could, but whatever. Alright. Cool. We lived. That is an anomaly. And we draw Salamanger to fire. Excellent. Okay. So, they flip it face down, but that's actually fine. Uh, because we have Droplet, which is just perfect. Perfect. Oh my goodness, can't speak. So, let's pause that there. Um, Droplet sends the face down Salamanger to fire to the graveyard to negate their fancy fusion card right here, right? So, that sends a Salamanger to the graveyard, which will then summon Gazelle, and we can actually keep playing. And we got rid of their negate at the same time. So, I Droplet is really fun in this deck. Summon Gazelle, send Spinny, summon Spinny, go for Mirage Stallio. Cool, cool. Summon out Jack Jaguar for more summons. Bailing searches the field spell. Go up to Sunlight Wolf. And we bounce their, uh, their copy of the fusion. Um, I was really tempted to go for Violet Chimera here, but I added it all up and we only would have gotten 7,900 damage. If I did my math right, which is entirely possible I didn't, but we would have only gotten 7,900, and that would have given them an extra turn, and we wouldn't have had anything else on board. So I chose to go for this uh, other route back to Raging Phoenix so I can set up some kind of negation. And we add Gazelle back to hand just for the next turn, go for Promethean, just a ridiculously strong card that's seeing play in so many different decks. Raging Phoenix, link summon again up to Raging Phoenix, add back Roar, battle phase, destroy their card, and we can bring out a uh, 5600, sweet. Set Roar and pass turn. So now we have a negate and they have literally nothing in hand. So they draw a card and they reveal it's a maxi and pretty much scoop it up and let us swing in, so. GG's, we actually, we actually managed to beat uh, Tier Laments with pretty much nothing on turn one, so that feels really good.
GG's opponent, well played. Okay, so Salamangrate going first, and we actually have our starter here. Man, that's slow, okay. Speed up, grab Gazelle. Salamangrate to fire. Uh, it is usually best to play Salamangrate Circle during the draw phase, but I find it really hard to hit the auto button quick enough to toggle over to on when you're going first. I don't know if you guys have that same experience, but I have a really hard time like trying to mash that button. It always ends up hitting to standby phase, not draw. So anyway, this is my typical combo. I think if you play Lady Debug, it can actually be even better than this, but we can bounce the Gazelle back to hand with Mirage Stalio, resummon Phoenix, and then we set up a field of a lot of negations. So we hit Rage, Roar is a counter trap, uh, Rages destroy four things. We have Ashen Hand, we have Droplet, and they have Lightning Storm, so we counterspell. They Kaiju, okay. Interesting. Well, we can get rid of Sunlight Wolf for Promethean, bring out Raging Phoenix, and Droplet is gonna stop their turn there. So we got through all of their cards, and they scoop it up. Yeah, GG's. That's kind of how Salamangri is supposed to go. We're really a control deck, which is kind of weird for a fire attribute deck to be control and not burn or something, but that's how uh, Soul Burner runs, I guess. He's secretly a dirty control player. Well, that is gonna do it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. And if you're interested in a silly strat based around Violet Chimera, let me know. I had one ages ago before the new Salamangrate support came out, um, but salads are actually really good. So it's not really a silly strat. It's just like a different way to play the deck. Um, but if you are interested in that, let me know. That is gonna do it. I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you in the next one.